Welcome to Train Sim World, an immersive and highly detailed rail simulation featuring authentic routes and trains from around the world. This is the training center. Here you can learn about how to navigate and interact with the world as well as how to operate the many trains. Let's start by looking around. Find each of the markers and look at them. Your current objective is shown at the top left of the screen. Walk to the blue marker to complete the current objective. You've been awarded some action points. These are displayed in the top right corner of the screen and count towards your overall experience level for the game. This is one of the many types of root tasks to be discovered. Keep an eye out for many more types and styles of root tasks, which can involve placing, collecting, or fixing a variety of things. Head into the main building, and you'll continue your induction there. You can pause Train Sim World at any point to review objectives and a lot of other information about what's happening at the moment. Try it now, and then return to the game after you've had a look around. Now that we've covered some of the basics of moving around and interacting with the environment, let's take a walk through the building and find the trains. This is Central Square. From here you can explore the main training center depot and surrounding yards. Your journey operating trains is just getting started here in the training center. Remember, you can always come back here from the main menu to refresh your knowledge if you're unsure about anything. Continue to learn and other training modules here in the training center, and then you'll be ready to take on more challenges in other environments. This module will cover the on-screen overlay, known as the heads-up display, or HUD, that is shown when you are in control of a train. Climb up the ladder into the train and then sit in the indicated seat.
Welcome to the most important seat in the train. While sitting here, you'll be in full control. Before you think about moving the train, though, let's look at the HUD overlay that's appeared on the bottom right. The heads-up display is a guide to what your train is doing. The main part of the HUD is the speed display. A white bar will appear around the outside to show your current speed, and the red mark indicates your maximum permitted speed. This is the direction display. An arrow will indicate forward, reverse, and neutral directions. This is the power display. A number will indicate what position the power or throttle control is in. These are the brake indicators. The exact ones shown will vary by train and will often be visible in the train itself on various gauges. They tell you what's happening in the braking system. The most important one is the BC or brake cylinder. If that's reading zero, then your brakes are released. Anything else? And brakes are applied and you won't be able to move. Every train can have small variations in the HUD unique to the way it works, but they will mostly look the same. As you learn to control new trains, study the HUD and learn how it helps you operate it. If you want to see this again, you can rerun this training module at any time. In this training module, you're going to look at making the train move and then bringing it to a stop again. While many trains have different controls and are operated in different ways, there are basically always three controls that are common and are required to move the train. The reverser sets the direction between forwards and backwards. The brakes are used to slow or stop the train. The throttle controls how fast the train accelerates. In this train, the throttle and brakes are controlled by a combined power and brake handle. We want to move the train forwards, so move the reverser to that position. Pull the power brake handle toward you to release the brakes and apply power. Now that you've reached your target speed, you can move the throttle control back to zero. The train will then coast on level ground and the train will only slow down very gradually. While the specifics of operating brakes vary from train to train, the basic process of stopping is fundamentally the same. Bring this train to a complete stop by moving the power brake handle into the braking range. The amount of braking you'll need to apply also varies depending on whether you're going uphill or downhill and how heavy your train is.
Stopping a train is one of the biggest challenges of controlling them, particularly stopping them in the right place. That concludes this module. Restart the module to learn the steps again, or move on to the next module. In this training module, you'll be learning basic passenger operations in a BR Class 323 electrical multiple unit. When you are ready, climb aboard the train. Take a seat in the driver's position. To unlock the control desk, insert the master key. Great work! To allow passengers to board, you will need to open the doors. Keep the doors open to allow enough time for passengers to board the train. Now that the passengers have boarded the train, close the doors. Set the reverser to forward. Apply power to get moving. This train has a combined brake and throttle handle. Apply a small amount of brake to gently bring the train to a stop at the next station. Good work. This time, open the doors on the opposite side. Reach the next destination unguided.
Great job. That concludes training on passenger operations. In this training module, you will be learning how to change driving ends of a train. During this brief introduction, you will be taken through how to set up a cab for driving, shut down a cab, and how to change which train cab is the lead. Firstly, we need to set up this cab for driving. Set the master key to on to unlock the control desk. The reverser is used to set the direction of travel. Apply some power to get moving. When ready, apply a small amount of braking force to gently bring this train to a stop. Set the brake throttle handle to neutral. Remove the master key. Well done. You have successfully shut down this cab. Now travel to the cab at the other end of the train. Sit in the driver's seat.
Now activate the new cab for driving, following the same steps as before. Well done. You now know how to change ends in a train. That concludes this training module.